Hello guys, I hope you're doing fantastic. And today's a little follow-up on the last session about how to smash the new year and pretty much how to set up a new routine, perhaps even continue with an old one, but really take ownership of where you're at. And I thought not to leave you hanging because I gave you some clues last video and we talk a little bit about a why, we talk about daily action, but we talk about accountability and some feedback loop. And today I want to take you a little bit deeper and give you some specific examples of how to set up yourself, especially in this first, you know, area of what's my why, what's my purpose. And look at these different areas just to give you a flavor how to go about it. Because I know this is not an easy thing, especially for, you know, many of us who are planners, who are thinking about life and and getting clear, you know, on, on the why can be quite challenging, especially in today's time and age when we have too much on our hands, too many responsibilities and we come home and, you know, kids are crying, the dogs is barking, the dinner is not done and the milk is spilled on the floor and we don't know where to start. So we're looking for easy way to commit ourselves. And, you know, my friend Deborah gave me the other day an advice to kind of sketch for myself a vision, you know, a light vision for the next year without too much hustle, without too many details, but just a flavor what I want to get out of the year. And, you know, when I look at these exercises, I always try to look like, you know, write kind of down the date, which, you know, I want to want to kind of be committed to. What can also be very interesting for you is writing a future letter to yourself. And I think I've done it recently. Uh, I've done it probably three, four times in the last years. I used the future me letter. You can Google it and you, it will pop up. You can write yourself a you know letter in one year, five years, 10 years, whatever down the road. And, and then you can you know write it as, as broad or as detailed as you want. And the funny thing is when you do this exercise, it brings you, even though from my experience, some most of the things really happen, but it might happen in different way and form and shape. Uh, so don't be discouraged by that. But know that when you do that, you will be really committed to something. And for example, you know, when you write a date today, you might be okay. Exactly one year from now, I would like to my life be like this. So you can kind of script the movie uh, or you know, if you will, the characters in your head, the day, the month, the uh, the quarters, and, and picture it in your mind. And I want you to think about the different areas. You know, in the last kind of session, I focused a lot on the workout, on, you know, downloading an app. But I want you to look at different areas. So from, you know, health, you know, how does your health feel? How do you want it to feel? What activities do you participate in? You know, what kind of foods you're eating, when you're eating out, when you're eating home, you know, what do you have sweets in your drawer? So do you, have you thrown it out because, you know, your goal is really to be ripped and really fit? Is there anything different about the way you look, dress, um, how you feel in front of your friends, how you feel in front of the client? And I know we don't often think about it so in detail, but it can help just like you see me, you know, putting on the mood for the Christmas. And, I, you know, today I get probably like five different compliments from different people uh, and countless looks because this is really something that people remember you for because you represent the spirit of Christmas. The second you could look at, and again, you know, this is open to discussion and open to suggestion and change. The second drawer I would put you and suggest you to look at is family and friends. You know, which family members, friends do you feel close to? Maybe you can list their names. Maybe you can look what type of activities do you do together? How often do you connect, etc., cetera, etc.? Cetera. So you can really fill the blank and continue with it. And you know, how does this area make you feel? Often, what I also like to do is work because you know, work fills probably eighty percent, seventy percent of our, sixty percent at least of our time. And we know that you know we all need to pay the bills. So who do you serve in your work? What problems are you focused solving? You know, where, who you talk to, what does your team look like if you're managing or if you're C-level or do you work alone? How do you feel at the start and end of each day? And again, you know, I, I really like to borrow these acronyms and ideas from my friends. And, you know, Timmy Roth, you might have seen some of the series we've done together. If not, scroll down. Um, she actually really 
brought this to my attention. She said, you know, when you're applying for a role, see how it makes you feel. How do you feel when you're starting, when you go in? How, does, how do people make you feel? And, you know, I started doing this exercise a couple of years ago. I can tell you the roles I got got way better. I built more experience. Also, the team I, the teams I hired were exactly or at least very close to what I have imagined. So this is really important. Another thing for many of us is side projects, right? It's many people call it side hustle. It can be, you know, hobbies. Do you have any project outside work uh, that you're passionate about? For many people, this is, you know, the supplement for their work because they are not happy at work. So they have side projects or even it's just because they have more broader attention and they don't like to dedicate themselves only to one thing. You know, what milestone do you want to achieve this year in this particular bucket? And then, of course, you can we can talk about finances. We can talk about uh, about you know fitness separately. We can talk about you know love life. We can talk about really how to build your skills as an influencer communicator. All of this and some extra. So you could think about you know in the extra bucket, is there anything that you want to change about the finances? You know, are there are there books you want to read? Is there anything you want to learn about? Are there places you want to visit? And you know, I want to stop uh, by this a little bit to to highlight the travel because for many people travel is you have one group people who really love to travel and people who hate it because of all the commotion and you know boarding plane and tickets and sitting down and all the commute right but then people who love it and who actually like myself i come from this bucket of people who actually were dragging it to people who actually now really kind of enjoy it and really see the value in it and you learn through trouble a lot. So I would encourage you as well to explore this next year and maybe travel to place which you want wanted to see for many of um, you know your years or month. And you were inspired, maybe heard from somebody, hey, I've been there and I was the dad. So it will bring the fire back. And it might it might mean for you, you know, to game or to, you know whatever that is, start a book reading club and talk to friends about it and really get lit up again. So think about what it means. And again, you know, this if we go back to the start of the discussion, it's all about getting clear on the why, you know, your health, family, friends, work, side projects, extras, and other things. And you want to figure out what needs to happen for you to get there. And I know for some people it might mean, you know, very simple, very straightforward. This is the goal. This is the path. This is the effort I need to put. But many times as you put bigger projects or as you grow, as you grow and change, you might embrace bigger projects. You might embrace bigger lessons and it will take more time. Uh, Like many of us, we have stretch goals, which means they are stretched over period of month and even years and sometimes even decades we're building you know the skill set we are building the relationships we are building the finances we are building the lifestyle and everybody is different but i want to encourage you to really look into this and get encouraged because many times this can discourage us because it's so much but this is the time of the year just like my sweater represents this period Use this time to get inspired. Don't get bogged down by the fact that, you know, oh, okay, business, I hate that. You know, when your energy is low, you will not want to do it. You want to put yourself really in a situation and kind of, you know, put yourself up to success, to succeed, if it makes sense. So you want to smile, you want to be positive, you're really happy about doing this exercise. So see it from the exciting part so that you can learn something more about yourself, learn something more about others, and you can really figure out where you want to go with your life. And you should see it as a piece of advice, if I may. If you want to see your life thrive, you've got to have a vision that every year, every decade, your life gets better. And it can, and it will, if you put in the steps, if you put in the dedication, and if you're willing to do the hard work, which is, you know, doing this reflection, doing this work, listening to these videos. And it's sometimes really hard because you don't see the work. But when you do this, when you listen to these videos every day, and you get motivated by, okay, let's, the Matteo talks actually about goals here, and then he talks about action, uh, then he talks about it. So you can start taking action on your own. I and mean, maybe you already do it, but maybe you don't. So hope it inspires you. I hope it gives you a little, you know, food for your thoughts and step into the new year with, you know, action, with motivation and know that 
with enough time, effort and resources, you can get it done, but you need to be consistent. And consistency is the key that I see many people fail. Many people I talk to, they have the drive, they are smart, but they don't have this will and this discipline to persevere. And to if they turn some in doing something, they're just willing to do the work. So until the next time, guys, stay motivated, stay hungry and be passionate.